while Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen settle a legal battle to a group of former interns who alleged in a 2015 class action lawsuit they were either unpaid or paid less than minimum wage after working extended hours. So we need to talk about a lawsuit involving Mary Kay and Ashley Olson. We're taking it back to 2015 when they were sued in a class action lawsuit for wage theft. A class action lawsuit is a big deal because that means multiple people are coming together to sue one entity. And we've seen other celebrities find themselves in similar lawsuits like Kim Kardashian West was sued by her staff for a few different reasons. I have a full video breaking this down, but they did not receive any pay stubs, they were not paid on a regular basis, they weren't given meal breaks or rest breaks, and Kim K had to answer to all of this. But as I was doing research on the Olsen twins, I was shocked at how much worse their lawsuit was than Kim K's. Just to remind you guys, back in 2015, the Olsen twins were some of the richest women in the industry. They were worth about $300 million dollars at the time, so there's really no excuse for them underpaying their staff. Mary Kay and Ashley weren't sued directly, but they were sued through their company Dual Star, which is an entertainment company they created at six years old. This is one of the reasons why they are so wealthy now, because at age six, 1993, they founded this production company and they produced their own films and TV projects, which did really well. If you guys haven't heard of Dual Star before, you you may recognize their logo, so here's a clip of that. So under Dual Star, the Olsen twins have multiple other companies, one of those being The Row, which is their fashion brand. Well, this woman named Shahista actually went to school for design and ended up being hired as a technical designer at The Row. She claims that this work environment was very demanding. I was doing the work of three interns. And Shahista went through it working for the Olsen twins, so much that she decided to file a class action lawsuit in New York. At some point, she was hospitalized for dehydration. Quote, it was like 100 degrees out. I'd just be sweating to death. I probably carried like 50 pounds of coats to factories at the row. So there was a lot of labor involved in this position that Shahista wasn't aware of. And it looks like they worked her hard for not paying her because she was technically an intern. Quote, you're like an employee, except you're not getting paid. They're kind of mean to you. Other interns have cried. I'd see a lot of kids crying doing coffee runs photocopying and stuff. Another one of the issues that Shahista had was the fact that she was not only an unpaid intern, but working more than 40 hours a week. She claims that she worked five days a week, about 50 hours a week, and that none of the interns were paid a dime. And they also didn't receive any academic training, which is required for law for an internship. And Shahista's complaints go on and on because she was hired for a job that really didn't entail what she was expecting. She only worked there from May to September of 2012, but she claims her duties as an intern covered everything from inputting data into spreadsheets, running personal errands for paid employees, organizing materials, cleaning, photocopying, sewing, pattern cutting, and a bunch of other tasks. To a group of former interns who alleged in a 2015 class action lawsuit, they were either unpaid or paid less than minimum wage after working extended hours. She's also been quoted saying that when we weren't doing something, they'd be like, organize the buttons in the back by color code. You're cleaning. You don't get a 15 minute break. You just go with their crazy flow. You just got caught up in the pressure. You're like an employee, except you're not getting paid. There have been a bunch of laws put into place because interns have been taken advantage of by big corporations. And it seems like this is another example of that. And it wasn't just Shahista's story because she filed a 
class action lawsuit so 40 other interns could join the case if they wanted to. The intern's complaint demanded that the Olsons be held accountable for working their interns to the bone and pay all former and current interns minimum wage for the hours they put in with Dual Star. I'm really impressed by Shahista because she filed this lawsuit not only for herself but also for interns from the past and the present. It took me forever to locate these court documents but I was able to find them. And Shahista is very clear in her complaint. I mean she lists it out that they did not provide any compensation. They did not provide training or breaks. Um, they made them work 50 hours a week. Everything is spelt out here. And really I don't think there's any reason for Shahista Shahista to lie. I mean, why would she need to lie about this? But the Olsen twins claim that she is. Mary Kay and Ashley fired back, arguing that they never used free labor to avoid hiring paid employees. They also denied allegations that they ordered the intern to complete tasks like running errands or photocopying or sewing. So they're denying everything, including the 50 hour work weeks. They claim that they did not violate any laws at all, and they want this entire lawsuit thrown out. They also want Shahista to pay for the Olsen twins' very expensive lawyer, which I feel like is a, you know, that's just a slap in the face at this point because this intern cannot afford your attorney fees. But thankfully, Shahista did not back down, even though the Olsen twins came back so much harder. The interns continue to demand that they be paid minimum wage, and there needs to be some type of forgiveness, I guess, because they were denied academic training, so they weren't able to really fulfill an intern position because they didn't learn anything working at the row. The Olsen twins must have hired a shady lawyer, because as I was looking through court documents, their reply to Shahista was very vague. They didn't explain anything. They just denied, denied, denied till the day you die. They denied every single thing that she claimed. I mean, look at this screenshot right here. Dual star denies is the beginning of each sentence. They deny every single thing, which makes me like kind of believe Shahista a little bit more because why would she make up every part of this? If they take zero accountability, they're really just trying to wipe away this entire case. And trust me, I do believe that the Olsen twins did everything in their power to make this disappear. And the lawsuit in general was dragging on for a very long time, which is difficult for Shahista and these interns to keep up with because because I'm sure the Olsen twins found different ways to try to slow down the process. But they did have some closure to this situation because about a year after this lawsuit was filed, they came to a private agreement, which ultimately ended the case. So this case never went into discovery, which is when they do their investigative research on this case. And it seemed like the Olsen twins were trying to avoid a jury. So they were talking to Shahista and trying to figure out a plan probably to save themselves because do they want their entire company to be investigated? I mean, what would we find there? According to court documents obtained by ET, Mary Kate and Ashley's company Dual Star Entertainment Group will be paying up to $140,000. So if the Olsen twins and the Roe are so innocent, then why did they have to settle and pay up? I mean, if they denied every single claim, then why did they not continue with that narrative? Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen have been ordered to pay $140K to former interns who claimed that they were stiffed on wages. You guys may remember at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that there were about 40 interns involved at the beginning of this case. Well, towards the end, they had about 185. So all of these people were taken advantage of by the row and they only received about $530 each. So um, they weren't really like given that much money because I guess like they weren't going to get paid much anyway, so they were really just given the wages that they were supposed to have in the first place. But I mean, $500 really just doesn't seem like a lot at all. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I love going back in time and talking about these situations because I really didn't understand how complicated it was and how bad it was for these interns. And there's another story I'm going to be telling on my channel about one of the Olsen twins once upon a time dated a man who became the president of the row and then they broke up and he sued her. So that will be a video coming soon. But let's go ahead and open this PO Box package item. It looks like it's from E Fiori shop and they're located on the East Coast. I love, oh, I'm shaking it all up. I love the um, packaging here, like the colors and everything. It's really pretty. Dear Sloan, hi there. My name is your 
Eurydice, Flor, Flory, Eurydice Flory here on YouTube, and I couldn't be more proud to send you a copy of my novel, Sweet Nectar. Ooh, it's full of romance and whimsy, and I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I did making it. Aw, but I want to warn you of the explicit content, so if you decide to turn it down, I completely understand. Ooh, no, I love explicit content. I love you know, intense, scary things. Um, and look, wow, it's a really pretty bookmark right there. And let's go ahead and check out the book. Thank you so much for sending me this. If you guys ever want to send me anything, I have a P.O. Box package uh, address listed below. <laughs> P.O. Box package. P.O. Box address listed below. And here's the book. It's really pretty. It's super aesthetic. <gasps> Parental advisory. Wow. Oh, I'm super excited for this. Thank you so much. I will list everything below and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.